Welcome back to eSim Studios. I have an unboxing for you today. This is a brand new HP Omnibook. Omnibook X. So this has the Qualcomm Snapdragon X Plus. Not the Elite, but the Plus. I purposely got the Plus and not the Elite because this machine here should be, should be, a battery life king. Um, it has a 2.2K OLED display. Now it's only 60 hertz, right? So a lot, a lot of these books that, uh, uh, excuse me, a lot of these laptops that come with, or and or tune ones that come with the Snapdragon Qualcomm uh, X Elite or Plus usually have a high refresh rate, right? Like the the Lenovo has a 90 hertz refresh rate. The Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Edge has 120 hertz refresh rate. This has 60. Now that's okay with me. I'm okay with that, right? I purposely got this for the outstanding battery battery life. Now we will experience, we will uh, unbox it, start using it, and see what it's like. But on paper, it should be phenomenal battery life. So what do we have here? We have got, let me focus in on this. This is the HP Omnibook X laptop, model number 14-FE1003DX. As I mentioned, it's got the X Plus, Snapdragon X Plus model number X1P-42-100 processor, 512 solid state drive. It is removable, so you can update that if you want to. Now this does have 16 gigs of onboard LD, excuse me, LPDDR5X RAM. It is soldered onto the motherboard. That's okay with me. Now they do have a 32 gig variant. Um, it obviously comes with Windows. It is a touchscreen battery, 59 watt hour battery. So it should be very good. Uh, 14 inch 2.2K LED display, 300 nits, a little on, you know. Which was a little brighter, but it is what it is. Um, I don't use mine outside, so I should be fine. And it has the HP 5 megapixel IR camera, which is face recognition, sort of like Apple's Face ID on a uh, laptop. So no fingerprint scanner, but Face ID is fine with me. And uh, we'll go ahead and unbox this real quick and see what comes in it. Now, this might be... The very, no, I was going to say no pun intended. <laughs> this might be the best buy at best buy. I say that because brand new, as you can tell, brand new. Not open box, brand new, only $5.99. That's right, they're on sale right now at best buy. Now, I don't have an affiliate link, so I will link this in the description of the video. But I don't get a penny if you buy it or you don't buy it. So, I'm just passing on a good deal to you. $599 for this device. Brand new. Brand new. I could not pass that up. <clears throat> so let's see what comes in here. I think I'm turning it up. I think I'm opening it upside down. Let's do this. There we go. As you can tell on the inside, you have some branding here. I think that's just fluff, basically. So here's what we got. A 14-incher. Uh, decent size here. Now, how the hell am I supposed to get this out? Here we go. Now, we will look at that in just a minute. What else comes in here? We have manual, I'm assuming. There's the setup instructions, but if you've ever set up a Windows PC, this is no different. Now, this does have a Wi-Fi 6E Bluetooth 5.3 card in there. It is changeable, and I will be purchasing a Wi-Fi 7 card and doing a video in the future about how to change your upgrade to Wi-Fi 7 on this specific device. Not going to do that. I'm going to order it today, but we're not going to film today. I'll probably do that in a couple days whenever it gets in. You do get a 65 watt fast charger from HP. These are phenomenal. You can actually, I use one of these in the home 
uh, to charge my phone and it charges super fast. So you get a type C charger for the device. There you go, nothing special. And that's it. Just like phones are kind of cutting down on what you get on the on the inside, but uh, let's show you what this looks like and the connectivity because it is interesting. It's a phenomenal deal, but it's not a perfect machine. Now, there's no such thing as a perfect phone or a perfect laptop. Uh, and this is no different, but uh, we will take a look at this. So let's put this back. I'm going to keep the charger out. This goes back in there. I don't need any help setting it up. Put that back nice and neat. I do not intend on returning it. Of course, I didn't intend on returning the Galaxy Book 4 Edge, but uh, that bit the dust. So, so what do you have here? So here we go. So you have Omnibook branding. Let me turn this flashlight on here. You have Omnibook branding right here. Now this is not a two-in-one. This is just a regular laptop and that's okay with me. Just know that before you go into buying it. You have a headphone and um, microphone audio input jack 3.5 millimeter. Now here you have a USB type A port. Now it has a little jaw drop, that's what they call these. Believe it's 3.1 and not 3.2. I believe. What does this say here? I know it is it is USB 3.2. So it's the latest USB 3.2 right there. You got uh, ventilation there for your device. And let's see here. You have two, I repeat, two USB Type C ports. Now, this one is Thunderbolt 4, this one's 3.2. So both are Type C, this one just supports Thunderbolt 4, this one is 3.2. Both are power delivery, so you can charge your device from either port. It's just, it's just this one towards the back is the really fast one. Uh, and that appears to be it. So it is good. They do have at least a Type A. There's some there's some devices out there that do not have Type A. Some devices are just Type C. I at least uh, look depending on who you are and what you're plugging in. Um, that's why I keep uh, this with me here nice because you can plug it in you can also charge it power delivery so you can plug it in your type c and then you have a uh, four ports here you can use while charging the device so it's a charger and extender i might put a link for that in the description below as well but let's see what this looks like it does not open with one hand unfortunately very nice so down here, you have the Snapdragon X Plus branding right here. And then you have a nice colored, some people like it, some don't. I don't mind, it's fine with me. Power button right there, full keyboard. Um, you have the Copilot Plus dedicated button right there. You have the Omnibook branding right here. Now this is the 2.2 K OLED display and this trackpad is a haptic trackpad meaning it gives you feedback sort of like your phone right when you push a button it'll vibrate ever so slightly it's also a glass touchpad so it's nice it's not mechanical um, very nice feeling decent size now let's see how far back this will go so that's a 90 degree angle. It goes to about, what is that at? Let's see. It's a, it goes at about 45 degrees that way. It's like 135 degrees, probably something like that. So good enough to where if you're standing up and you need to flex it back a little bit, tilt it back a little bit uh, to get a good angle, and definitely suitable. Uh, again, my needs, it would be nice to have a two-in-one, but at this price for $5.99, uh, 
Couldn't beat it. I could not pass this offer up. And again, I think the Snapdragon X Elite model of this, so you can get this in a Snapdragon X Plus, which I have here, or a Snapdragon X Elite. Snapdragon X Plus, which I got, was $599. Snapdragon X Elite was is $899. So I was thinking, huh, why don't I just get the X Plus? It's $300 cheaper. Uh, and actually, and then you should get phenomenal battery life. Now, this thing appears to be dead. I don't even think it'll turn on. I thought they always keep a little juice in here. Well, it looks like not. So let's at least plug it in to make sure everything works. And we'll get out of here. 65 watt charger here. And again, you can use either port for charging. You go ahead and use the Thunderbolt. I'm sure I'll be using that the most. Plug this in over here. Make sure everything turns on. The last uh, the Galaxy book that I got, Book 4 Edge with the Snapdragon X Elite, uh, literally did not turn on. Uh, I got to use it for maybe half a day, and then uh, maybe close to a full day. Second day of usage, I, turn, I went to go turn it on one morning, and it would not even... It would boot up and then would not boot into the operating system. All right. So now it's plugged in. Do you get some sort of light? Yes. That light right here lets you know it's charging. And that's the only light on the machine let's see it right there there you go now it's charging you can tell it's red now let's see if it'll turn on and this is omni this is hp's little logo for ai it's a little you can tell it's an a and then an i right there you will see that pretty it's pretty common with uh, all hp ai products there you go now it's turning on so just a completely dead device, but no issues. And there's your boot animation right there. And away you go. So, let me get this set up and we will start testing. So, just a real, real quick before we get out of here. Um, at this moment, I th at this moment, most all, most if not all programs should work with Snapdragon and or ARM chipsets on Windows. CapCut, which I use, uh, works. Canva, which I use, works. Now, there was a couple hiccups on the Samsung Galaxy. Now, I would like to think it is a it was a dud, <laughs> right? It was a lemon of a machine. Um, so I'm going to give this a second try. I'm going to give Snapdragon ARM chips another try. And look, worst comes to worst, I got two weeks to return it. So I did pay this, uh, pay with this, uh, excuse me, I purchased this laptop with my own money. HP did not send this to me. To so worst comes to worst, I can, uh, I can just return it. But I uh, wanted to give ARM chips one more try before I totally give up on them. Now, not totally. Uh, next year, I will be getting a their second generation uh, Snapdragon ARM chips. By then, all the developers, all these programs should be fully optimized for ARM chips. It's just right now, they're so early in the game. That's why you're getting some compatibility issues. I don't play games, so I could care less if a game works or a title works or doesn't work on here. All I need is a few good programs and I'm good to go. Uh, so I wanted to give them one more shot. And at this price, $5.99, can't pass it up for something like this. So, uh, it's not the best out there, but, right, it's uh, it's what fits my needs and it allows me to give X uh, plus, Snapdragon X plus one more shot. So, let me get out of here. Let me get signed in and stay tuned to the channel. I will be doing a full review of this device as well as other PCs. So, we not only do mobile technology really focused on phones here, but we really discuss everything. We review everything. We do unboxings, app reviews. We do a daily live stream with uh, the headlines in the tech world for said day. But I'm going to specifically get into more PC reviews, uh, mini PC reviews, program reviews, 
and not not go all in, but certainly going to add PC reviews into the mix and just expand the channel that way. It is technology, it is mobile technology, and that's what we discussed. So appreciate the time. Stay tuned. If you're interested in this device, please see the link in the description box below. Again, no affiliate link. I'm just passing on a good deal. Please subscribe to the channel uh, for any and all tech reviews or any uploads uh, or and if uh, we go live you will get notified come join our live stream we talk technology every single afternoon would love to have you in for the discussion so we will see you later peace